Popular talent manager Ubi Franklin has held several job titles in his lifetime. From artist manager, politician, record label owner and blogger. Most recently, however, Ubi added a brand new job title, Nani, to his resume after he was captured severally babysitting Davido and Chelma's son Ifai in London ahead, during and after the music superstar O2 Arena show in March of 2022. Initially, fans had read different meanings to his role, with some saying he just loves children. But others insisted it must be a paid job, using reports of the talent manager's baby mamas calling him out for being a deadbeat father to substantiate their claim. It soon became apparent that the latter may be true after the video praised him by calling him our Nani Ubi on Twitter to his 10.9 million fans. Although Obio fans claimed it was just joking, other social media users predicted his remark was only setting Obi for premium dragging among his peers, which eventually happened in the wake of Will Smith dishing Chris Rock a hot slap at the 2022 Oscars on March 27. The music executive took the first button by using the opportunity to drag popular comedian Bovi for cracking a joke about him and his kids while hosting the Headies last year. He promised to either retaliate the Will Smith way or by posting dirty secrets of the comedian if he ever repeated the same. Shockingly, Tamaya collected a button from him. The singer known as Igberi Papa in a tweet reminded Ubi of how he beat him up in 2021 before advising him not to get on his wrong side to avoid being beaten again because he loves his new job as Davido and Choma's nanny. Tamaya then asked his followers if they needed a nanny. How did Ubi Franklin fall off from being a music executive to being branded Davido and Chioma's nanny? Is it truly their nanny? Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. When Ubi Franklin, a native of Calabar, Cross River State and Madonna University law graduate, first introduced himself to the public, it was an assistant to popular comedian Julius Agu and later A.Y. Makun. However, he made a bigger name for himself in 2010 when he became the talent manager of MTN Project Fame winner Nyanya just before releasing his hit jam Kukere. The founder of the record label Triple MG later signed talented artists such as Techno, Ima Imra and Telebobo and became a prominent music executive in the entertainment industry. The 36-year-old celebrity was doing more incredible things in the blink of an eye. From hosting TV shows to public speaking, three additional businesses were launched instant apartment, instant pickup and instant ride. In 2020, he was appointed special advisor to Cross River State Governor on tourism. However, just like his meteoric rise, so was his catastrophic fall owing to many controversies that followed him around like flies. First, his marriage to popular Nollywood actress Lilian Esoro crashed over infidelity and domestic violence allegations. The couple, who welcomed a son in 2016, got married on November 1, 2020. The marriage was reportedly loveless and Ubi completely distanced himself from his wife over what sources claimed were shaky foundations. While all this was going on, Ubi was producing babies from not one, not two, but four baby mamas across Africa. Shockingly, he was labeled a deadbeat father. His baby mamas have severally dragged him on social media for not contributing financially to the welfare of his children. Family issues and other controversies did not only hit his career hard, but Ubi Franklin also became a blogger while chasing several streams of income to maintain family wahala. Shall we say this was when his biggest blessing came? He gained ground by becoming the manager of David Doe's baby mama, Chioma. Apart from packaging her for business purposes, he also became very close to her son, Ifai, whom he looked after whenever they were on a business trip. When David Doe saw the incredible way Ubi had been taking special care of his baby boy, he couldn't help but praise him openly by calling him our nanny. Speaking about Ubi Franklin's latest job title, he earned it in March of 2022 after excellently taking care of David Doe's and Chioma's son, Ifai, during their private jet trip to London for David Doe's O2 Arena show. And just like that, people began dragging the 36-year-old father of four for not spending quality time with his own kids but always available to look after David O and Chilman's son while they go about their business. Interestingly, Ubi took his nanny job in good faith. When a troll asked, are you a nanny now? Ubi replied, yes so, no begging to come collect my job -o. While some saw his actions and response as humility, others said David Doe's well-meaning remarks are degrading and possibly set him up for dragging in the future. Well, this prediction came to pass too soon. 
coming after American actor Will Smith slapped Chris Rock for delivering a joke about his wife's boss cut at the Oscars of March 27, 2022. Obi seized the opportunity to call out comedian Bovi for making a joke about him and his kids while hosting the Headies back in 2021. He sternly wants the comedian not to try it again, saying if he did, he would go the Will Smith way or share details of his secrets with proof. Comedian Igo Say, however, defended his friend Bovi, stating that making jokes about men who impregnate women but fail to take responsibility is to ensure they don't repeat the same. While all this drama were going on, Timaya remembered how Ubi recently dragged him over a hit and run case and decided to revenge by calling him a nanny. In a tweet shared on March 30, 2022, he asked the talent manager if he remembered when he gave him the beating of his life. He said, Don't let me beat you again, and please, I love your new job as if I is nanny. Please don't mess it up. Davido is a good guy, he can make your life. Please focus on your new job. Timaya in another tweet then asked who needed a nanny but not Ubi Franklin. Is Ubi really Davido and Choma's nanny? Or was it just pure chance it was carrying Ifai in several photos and videos? Well, in a chat with Punch Sunday Scoop on April 3, 2021, the music executive said nothing is wrong with taking care of Ifai because it's empathy at play. He said he has children too and cannot watch Choma struggle with the boy and not help. But helping doesn't make him Ifai's nanny. He added that he's Choma's manager and she's like a sister to him, explaining the extra work. Finally, he said those criticizing him just want to throw jibes at him. Is that love? If Choma said, Ubi, please help me drive my baby throughout this street, I'll do it. You know why? Choma is like a sister and kids. Who, who, who talks bad about kids, man? Please. I love this. I, lo I love it. Do you understand? And the people around me, David O, Choma, they, 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 they know where to place me. And that's very important to me. So, so tell us, guys, what do you think about how Ubi Franklin seemingly became Ifai's nanny? Was David O truly praising him when he called him our nanny to his millions of followers on social media, knowing that they will use it to troll Ubi someday? Do you think it's a paid job or just a talent manager helping someone he considers his sister? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time you upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.